What's going on guys, you're Shomo Trainers Officer, and today I've got for you my very first Little Cup panel, yes! And explaining my team, I've got a Scarfed Protein Froki, of course, a Bulky Pancham, which is pretty much just to uh, take a hit and then pretty much knock out anything that I want to, a Specially Defensive Skiddo with Bulk Up and Milk Drink, Physically Defensive Hone Edge, a very special Lit Leo set, which I will show you guys in a minute here, and a Lead Noibat to prevent rocks. Now looking at my opponent's team, threats, I'm gonna have to definitely say Shelter, considering it's massively bulky on the defensive side, not specially defensive, it has absolutely no special defense, and Shell Smash is a huge problem. We've got Why Not, which holy crap that's gonna be an issue to deal with, I mean depending on what he brings it in on, I mean I can handle it or I can't handle it. Actually now that I think about it, yeah all my Pokemon have something that can deal with Why Not. Froki's got U-Turn, Pancham has Parting Shot if I don't want to deal with it, Skiddo I can always just roar it out or sit up on it with Bulk Up, Hone Edge probably knocks it out with just one Shadow Claw, Lit Leo, well, you'll see what happens in the battle, and Noibat can pretty much just uh, taunt and roost and it can just pretty much uh, deal with it in its own way. Next we've got Diglett and in Little Cup, it is a big problem considering that, you know, most of them are like Focus Sash, but Arena Trap is a huge issue. I mean, it's mitigated now that Ghost Types can't be affected, so I can always switch out my Hone Edge, but still. And finally, that Archon is going to be a problem. Well, it could be a problem. If it's Scarf, it's definitely going to be a problem because they hit so damn hard and they can just U-turn out and pretty much avoid any kind of damage they want to. But if it's not Scarf, then I can outspeed with probably my Froki and just knock it out, clean one shot. Now that'll do it for the team preview, and without further ado, let's get to the battle! So my very first opponent for 6th gen Little Cup is going to be Caesar. Uh, I think he set this he set this battle up through Skype, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Anyway, he's going to start off with his Archon as I start off with my Froki. And he goes for straight for the U-turn. And holy crap, he is Scarfed. I'm Scarfed. I'm guessing he's running like the 17 speed Jolly set. Because uh, if he just went for Stone Edge, he would have flat knocked me out. And I'm so glad he didn't. Because I end up going for Surf here, because I knew that would knock it out, or at least put it in defeatist range. And he goes into his Shelter, which is not great for me, because I know this thing is going to try and Shell Smash in my face. So I'm going to go into my defensive wall, my Hone Edge, to pretty much wall the... Because uh, these Shell Smash Shelters, usually what they carry is... Um, they usually carry Icicle, Icicle Spear, Rock Blast, Shell Smash, and then something else. Usually it's like... Uh, I shard, but in this case he's carrying Hydro Pump, which could have been bad for me. However, it looks like he's the physically offensive set, because uh, it do it actually leaves me with a little bit of HP, so I can uh, two-hit KO this thing with a combination of Shadow Claw and Shadow Sneak. So down goes Shelter, and that go down goes one of the biggest threats to my team. So now he's going to Magnemite, and or now he goes into Magnemite. Yeah, can't talk. And uh, I try and switch out here, try and go into Skiddo, because I'm just like testing to see if he's Magnet Pole, and guess what? He's not. Because he goes for the Hidden Power, I'm guessing Fire? That's the only reason he would have gone for it against Hone Edge. And Skiddo takes that like a champ. He takes it like it's nothing. And I'm able to get off a Milk Drink on the obvious switch. So in comes Minchino, and I'm not worried at all. Well, actually I'm worried a little bit, just a little but I'm pretty sure that I can just go into my Hone Edge and wall whatever it wants to do, because these things, uh, I don't think they get a whole lot of um, of uh, skill link moves. I think they're mostly like technician sets, but I'm not 100% positive on that, because I haven't actually, despite me, like how much Little Cup I played in 5th gen, I didn't see a whole lot of them. I saw some, just not a whole lot. So now he goes into his Magnemite. And I decide that I just want to get off some damage here, and I want the switch initiative, because I'm pos I'm almost positive he's going to go for Volt Switch. And he knocks out my Hone Edge, but uh, at least I got off some damage, which means now I get the switch initiative, since he went for Volt Switch. I mean, he could have just gone for Hidden Power Fire, but this is a good opportunity for me. So he goes into his Diglett as I go into Pancham, and I am going to knock this thing out, no doubt about it, unless he has um, a Sash. Because he goes for Earthquake here, gets a crit, which is really unfortunate. I mean, I could have taken that so much better. 
And as you can see, his life orb, I go for Storm Throw and knock him out with my own crit. However, you know, Storm Throw is a 100% chance crit, while his crit was just lucky. Then I guess, eh, I guess it didn't matter in the long run. It might have, but I guess it didn't. So here he goes into his Minchino again, goes for the Tail Slap, and he's going to knock me out with, after three hits. I mean, I guess I might have been able to take that if uh, he didn't get the crit on the Earthquake, but I really didn't, like... I'm like, I, I don't care, it's, it's the lucky crit, it happens. So I go to my Skiddo as he goes for another um, Tail Slap, and here I'm thinking that I can just bulk up based off how much damage, based on how much damage it does, I can probably bulk up and just survive the hit. Because uh, I see it does 15 damage, hits 5 times, I go for bulk up, and uh, you know, for, at this point, I'm pretty sure he's Skill Link. And at this, now I'm thinking, okay, so it'll probably be doing 1 to 2 damage, so all I need is a min roll on one of them. Nope, it's doing 3 damage. Holy crap, that bulk up did nothing, and I just wasted my skin out. What I could have just gone off a horn leech and gotten some damage off. So that was really, really bad, and I just, I messed up big time there. So now I go into Lit Leo, seeing that how much damage those other hits were doing, especially with the Avilite sets or with the Avilite, and knowing that my Litleo is also a Violite, but also has a little bit more tankiness than most um, Pokemon than most Pokemon that you think. I'm pretty sure I can go for the Fire Blast and try and knock him out. However, he goes into his Why Not, and I'm in a little bit of a predicament here. Cause, and I go for Yawn to try and uh, put to sleep and like nullify it or whatever. And uh, not willing to risk Mirror Coat, I mean I'd rather get Encored, I'm not gonna risk it. I just go for um, Yawn, it goes to sleep, and now I can just go for Dark Pulses to knock it out. So, two Dark Pulses, definitely going to knock it out. Um, I, I really was worried about this one not at the beginning, but I guess that most of my thing, most of the things on my team had something to deal with it. So, I guess I wasn't... I guess I shouldn't have been too worried. Because it didn't... In the end, it didn't end up being a huge hassle. So, in comes Archon. I know I can take a Rock Slide. I mean, I'm... Praying that it wasn't Stone Edge, and thank God it wasn't. I can take the Rock Slide, thankfully. I can go for Yawn, and he can either stay in and go to sleep, or I can uh, try and knock out something else. So, he goes for Rock Slide, thank God. Thank you, Lord, he did not switch out. Because if he switched out, this game would have been lost. For me to win, I needed this thing to be asleep. It absolutely, 100%, had to be asleep. So, now I'm going to go into my Froakie. It's at 10 HP. I'm really, really, um, strept for, I'm really, uh, strept for, I, I don't know, I, what's the word, I'm in a corner, I have to go for these hydro pumps, they have to hit, and it doesn't one shot the Minchino, which is disappointing. However, he goes for the tail slap and misses, holy crap, thank you speed tie, or thank you whatever, uh, he was scarfed by the way, why he had, he had three, uh, two scarfers on his team, I don't know, but I guess he just did. So in comes Magnemite, the whole reason I went for Hydro Pump was because I was pretty sure I couldn't knock this thing out with Surf, go for Hydro Pump, knock it out, and all he has left is Archon. And I know that Archon is going to be able to speed me because I knew it before. This is where that speed comes, that sleep comes into play. Thank you, Lit Leo, for putting it to sleep, and thank my opponent for not switching. So I go for a Hydro Pump, knock out his Archon, and that is the end of my very first Little Cup match. Mistakes were made. Hacks happened on both sides, but in the end, I ended up coming out on top. Thank you for that battle, Caesar. It was really a GG, and I'm, <laughs> I really can't thank you enough for letting me play Little Cup in 6th generation. And, you know, that brings us to our talk of the day. Today's talk of the day, I really want to face more 6th gen Little Cup. I mean, right now, I don't really have a serious team, and if you get, make a serious team, that'd be great. I, I will go ahead and make a serious team, too. But as far as just like casual little, little cup battling, I would love to face some guys or some people. So guys, please challenge me. I I would love to battle you guys in little cup. And you know, a couple of the biggest issues are like EV training and uh, items like a violet and berry juice. And I wouldn't mind helping you guys out with the items. I mean, the EV training you're gonna have to do that on your own. You know, that's just super training. It's easy, but it's time consuming. So you guys got to do that on your own. But I would not have any problems uh, cloning some berry juices or some violates and uh, just giving you guys some extras so that way we can battle. I would have no issue with that whatsoever. But you know, before I do that, you just gotta show me that you actually have a little cup team. Because I'm not willing to just clone items for people just so they can use it on a Dewblade in UU or RU or something. I'm actually cloning items so that way they can be used in little cup. 
But that's it for me. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward to your responses in the comments below. I would really love to play some more of you guys in Little Cup. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. My channel would not be possible without you. And I will see you next time. Please be sure to visit the artists that make these videos possible. Also, if you need help recording X and Y battles, be sure to message me on Twitter or add me on Skype and we can set something up. Finally, I hope you all enjoyed that video, and if you did, if you'd like to check out more of my content in the annotations or the links in the description below. You know, I'll give that a shot, because, you know, uh, the whole King thing where it's, um, where you couldn't talk to, you couldn't talk to him at night, so maybe that has something to do with it. Yep, I had to wait until day, son of a bitch!